Continuing the trend we started last year, one which we hope to continue each Halloween from now on, let's take a look at something spooky, something weird, and something a little obscure. Rather than hitting another major title that has had a lasting impact for several decades on the history of Japanese horror, let's instead turn to something more independent. Last year, this indie investigation took the form of a showcase of Japanese horror here on YouTube. This year, we're taking a look at the kooky and grotesque new film from Ujicha, Violence Voyager. This film is, shall we say, not your average take on horror. It lures us in with a relatively unaffecting first act, before really ramping up the insanity in no time. It's brash, visceral, oddly animated, and from a fresh, young face that we hadn't even heard of prior to Violence Voyager. Ujicha, the man behind the project, previously made waves with his 2013 feature, The Burning Buddha Man. That earlier film introduced the world to Ujicha's unique vision in a method of animation referred to broadly as geikimation. This innovative technique involves hand-drawn and hand-painted cutouts moving in three-dimensional space against otherwise two-dimensional backgrounds. The effect produced could be described as a children's book come to life. However, when themed with images of horror, this type of animation can become disturbing or even off-putting. In the case of Violence Voyager, this certainly works in the project's favor. Rather than going through the hassle of animating individual frames like a traditional animated feature, Gekimation relies on elaborately painted facial expressions and visceral sound design, which stands reminiscent of Tetsuo. Crunchy sound effects detail the steps characters take. Squishy effects let us know how raw the proceedings have become, and hard metal sounds clue us in to how open or hollow certain spaces within the film may be, such as a darkly lit metallic corridor. This attention to detail extends beyond the sound design as well, encompassing the actors and actresses employed who offer an anime-like experience. In turn, with audio that feels like a full-on ASMR experience as opposed to the snippets of this kind of sound design typically offered in anime, the visual differences between Violence Voyager and anime are heightened. For example, in Miyazaki's Spirited Away, not only does the food look tasty enough to eat, but the sounds accompanying the visuals on screen heighten the experience. However, this level of detail and sound design isn't maintained throughout the entire film. When Chihiro walks across the bridge to the bathhouse, instead of hearing the footsteps, dragging kimono, and breathing of the spirits milling about around her, the audience is treated to a quiet musical session to heighten the tense atmosphere and Chihiro's need for silence in this moment. Violence Voyager, on the other hand, tends to lean less on musical accompaniment, with most scenes lacking any music at all. This film instead lends its sound design to something closer to the food scene in Miyazaki's fantasy story, thus creating a gulf between itself and what might be considered more typical anime sound design. This isn't to say the direction Ujicha took with this project is bad. In fact, we think the grittiness between both the sound and visuals really added a layer of horror to the film. The film's unassuming art style is allowed to bill itself as a quirky diversion before completely undercutting this with harsh violence that literally leaps off the page. The off-putting visuals produced by Gekimation come to a head in Violence Voyager when real-world props literally burst through their paper constraints with fire engulfing the scenery and liquids pouring from the characters' insides. What we're getting at here is that, if nothing else, Violence Voyager is truly a unique experience, which is sure to intrigue fans of horror, science fiction, animation, and body horror, all while maintaining a completely unique style of animation. Thanks to Tricoast Studios, the film has been available for a little over a week here in the States. If the animation alone has drawn you in, be sure to give it a look, as it's available on demand via several streaming services right now. If you're still not convinced though, let's take a quick look at the actual contents of Violence Voyager. Don't worry, we won't be spoiling anything major here, as this is truly something you should experience for yourself. Violence Voyager follows the misadventures of Bobby, an American kid living in Japan, and his trusty pal, Akun. The duo decide one day to travel over a mountain near their houses to visit an old school friend who moved away. About halfway there, Bobby and Akun come across a seemingly abandoned theme park named Violence Voyager, which Bobby can't resist checking out. As the two are drawn deeper into Violence Voyager, Bobby's dad and Akun's little brother set out on a desperate mission to find the boys. 
That plot may sound straightforward enough, but it's truly in the execution of Violence Voyager that the film shines. Not only does it offer an off-kilter vision of Bobby and Akun's twisted adventure, it's also chock-full of pop culture references that let Ujicha's inner nerd shine through. In just one watch, we were able to pick up on small nods to old monster films, classic sci-fi fare, and even The Lion King of all things. The film is essentially a loose canon of a project, wielding Erogudo tropes as it guides our young protagonists through an amusement park hellscape. Violence Voyager is a one-of-a-kind project which will probably have as many opinions and interpretations as it has viewers. It might not be super deep thematically upon first blush, but it pays deep reverence to its influences, while being ironically irreverent as a whole. One thing is for sure though, that being that Violence Voyager is a sure hit for anyone into experimental animation, outlandish horror, or body horror. We wouldn't be surprised if, 10 years from now, this film had entered the annals of horror cult classics. Give the film a look and let us know what you think in the comments below. We're still grasping with what we just watched, and we would love to know your thoughts as well.